Hello friends, I welcome you all to Doubt Forum. This question is a 12 volt battery is connected to a coil of resistance 6 ohm through a switch. So there is a coil. So this is the inductor part and then this is the resistor part. This coil is connected across a 12 volt battery. So this is a 12 volt battery through a switch. So there is a switch. Initially the switch is in its closed position. The value of this resistance is given to us as 6 ohm and it is mentioned that there is a constant current flowing in this circuit. As we all know that in case of DC voltage, this inductor will behave like a closed circuit. So this circuit is representing a resistance connected across a 12 volt battery. The value of this resistance is given to us as 6 ohm and the battery is of 12 volt. So the current flowing in this circuit would be I is given by V upon R. The value of V is 12 volt, R is 6 ohm. So this comes out to be 2 ampere. So 2 ampere, a constant current is flowing through this circuit. Now in this circuit, what is happening? This switch is opened in 1 millisecond. And when this switch is opened, an EMF is induced across this coil and its value is given as 20 volt. And we are asked to find the value of inductance of the coil. As we all know that a coil is consist of an inductor as well as a resistor. In ideal case, the value of this resistance is zero. But for all practical purpose, each coil have certain resistance. The voltage induced across inductor is given by E is equals to minus L into di by dt. This is the basic formula which we will be using to find out the value of induced voltage. So here in this case, the switch is opened in one millisecond. So the value of dt would be one millisecond. And we all know that the current that was flowing before this opening of this switch was two ampere. And when we open this switch, that current would turns out to be zero. So this current will decrease from two ampere to 0 ampere in 1 millisecond. So from this data, we can easily find the value of di by dt. So di by dt would be change in current is that is change in current is the final value of current that is 0 to initial value of current that is 2 ampere divided by 10 divided by 1 millisecond. So this is 10 to the power minus 3 second or di by dt would come out to be minus 2 into 10 to the power 3 ampere second. This is its unit. It is mentioned in the question that the EMF induced during this switching across this coil is 20 volt. So the value of E is given to us as 20 volt. This would be equal to minus L. Here L is the value of inductance into di by dt is minus 2 into 10 to the power 3. This minus and minus will get plus and the value of L come out to be 20 upon 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 or its value would be 10 into 10 to the power minus 3 and its value come out to be 10 milli Henry. So this is the value of inductance of this coil. Let me quickly revise this question. There is a coil of resistance 6 ohm which is connected across a 12 volt battery through a switch. Initially the switch is closed. When the switch is closed and we all know that in case of DC voltage this inductor would behave like closed circuit. So this circuit is representing a 6 ohm resistor connected across a 12 volt battery. So in this case, the current that would be flowing through this circuit would be V upon R that is 12 upon 6 and its value come out to be 2 ampere. So a current of 2 ampere would be flowing before the opening of this switch. Now this switch gets opened in 1 millisecond. And when this switch is opened, the value of this 2 ampere current would immediately turn out to be 0 ampere. So from here, the value of di by dt can easily be find out and its value come out to be minus 2 into 10 to the power 3 ampere second. The EMF induced across the inductor is given by minus L into di by dt. The value of induced EMF is given to us as 20 volt. The value of L is unknown to us and value of di by dt we have just calculated here. So simply putting these value in this formula, we can find the value of L as 10 milli Henry. So this is how we can solve such type of problems. So thank you guys for watching this video and if you have any doubt please let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel our forum 
see you in the next video till then take care bye bye